everybody and welcome to part one of combinatorial geometry. In this video I'm just going to be giving some bare bone definitions, uh, convex sets, and convex hulls. So first and foremost a convex set is a set that that is such that if you take two points uh, two points on the set it can be either on the boundary or inside so I'll do both. So if we have two points here a uh, point A on the boundary and a point B on the inside. But it doesn't matter which two points you pick. If you draw a line between these two points, or specifically the segment, the segment AB has to contain, like, it must contain all points. Or basically, any point on the segment AB is in this set. So let's call this set X. So X is convex if and only if for any two points A and B the segment AB um, is fully contained in X. Um, and, and, and so really this is almost like a a continuous set if you think about it, right? Uh, and so that's why we will often be using geometric objects like here I drew a circle to represent this set. Because if I draw a line, or a chord really, or just any segment, then uh, it's go it's going to be contained. Because notice I can't go outside. I could do like a tangent, but two points in this in this uh, set must, you know, the entire segment will be in this set. The next is, and next is the convex hull. The convex hull uh, is in sort of a an operation on a set of points. Uh, so let's take these four points, uh, or let's say five here. So a convex hull is the smallest convex polygon, which uh, contains all of the points, the entire set. So here, this quadrilateral that I've drawn here, um, I'm just marking the sides of it, uh, this quadrilateral is the uh, convex hull of the set because, um, and, and basically the convex hull is sort of, it's sort of like the boundary of the set, so anything outside of the convex hull, like a point here, is obviously not one of our points, and but something inside might not all might also not be in the set. But the point is that um, any point is either on the convex hull, any point in our set is either on the convex hull or inside of it. Uh, and this allow this sort of geometric property of creating a boundary for a set is very useful in certain Olympiad problems, especially in conjunction with, with what we call the extremal property, or the, the extremal principle, which basically says that, uh, well, it's not really something that, that's to say, but it's a line of thinking, really. It's a, a trick where, given a Olympiad combinatorics problem, it's often helpful to consider some extreme case, right? That's why it's called the extremal principle. We consider uh, either the maximum or minimum of a set, and you show via contradiction that there there must be uh, another sort of another minimum or another maximum, which is a contradiction. Uh, and so you can reach c conclusions from there. So oftentimes we can use the convex hull to create some sort of contradiction. Uh, and I will be showcasing this in the next video uh, where I solve a problem uh, just doing that, considering the convex hull. Um, well, not really, but but in the next video I will show I will show a problem where the convex hull comes in handy. Um, 
because it, it also guarantees the existence of convex polygons. Um, so anyway, this was just a short introduction video um, on combinatorial geometry. So more to come in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in those videos.